What's this? Yeah. It's cold. Oh. You've been naughty. But I've been good this year. Well, don't. No, I don't break. Funny? Don't break okay, stuff. Okay, come down. Come hey. down. No, what? No, no. What'd you do? Сука, стыльюсь, бегу, бабы, зря, зря. Ты мой, ты мой. Ты мой. Ты мой. Ты мой. Ты мой. Ты Hi, I'm Robert McCall and we're going to be doing the next lesson in our uh, Dealing with Angry Customers free video seminar based on my books, which I highly recommend. Today, we're not going to talk about any specific t techniques, but what I am going to do is to try to help you understand a little bit about angry customer behavior, angry behavior in general. And, one, and a couple of peculiar things. The, f the first thing is the issue of adults acting like children. Now, if you've worked with angry customers or frustrated emotional customers before, one of the things you might have noticed is they, that the angrier they are, the more they start to resemble little children. And they start acting like, well, basically two-year-olds. So they might, like things around, they might bang on the table, much like a child who doesn't like their Gerber, that kind of thing. And it, it, it's really kind of an odd thing, uh, but it's a reality. I'm going to explain to you why that happens. Uh, what's interesting about this is that although we're adults, we never really leave our child like be our child behavior which we learned a long time ago. And one of the interesting things about aggression and emotional behavior is it really really starts as part of the biological imperative in infants. Let's so think of it that way. A child can't survive without having its needs taken care of and of course the parents or the caretaker is the person it relies on. But the thing is, it has no way of explaining to you what it, what it wants. But it does have sort of some built-in responses. The crying, the waving, the red face, the, that kind of things. So that's how it communicates with you. All right, so this kind of like emotional expression through this what appears to be very infantile behavior, that's where it comes from. But it doesn't necessarily disappear as we grow up. As kids get older and they get language, some of the first stuff they learn is to say no. And when they hit about two, they can become holy terrors, again, with tantrums, that kind of thing. And it's an extension, basically. Now they've learned some language and now they've learned to operate on their environment to get what they want. Okay, so in early childhood, children, and that's everybody, learn first how to not how to get what they want how to be very self-centered so again it doesn't disappear it gets overlaid with socialization and as, as hopefully as we get older we learn different techniques to deal with these kinds of emotional reactions but the tr the thing is that as adults although most of us hopefully don't act like children very much what happens is that the more emotional we get, the more we use habitual behavior. Now, habitual behavior is the stuff that we've been doing the most often or for the longest. What behaviors are uh, the longest ones, in other words, we've been using the longest time uh, to express our anger? Well, they're the childish ones. 
And we learn that we might be, you might be 45 now, or your customer might be 45. Well, they got like about 44 years of practicing how to be childish. Okay. Now they probably know intellectually that it's not a good idea. But the thing is that anger depresses the ability for our thinking brain to function and control our emotions. So the more someone is upset, the more likely they are to revert or regress back to the childish behavior. And that addresses another, uh, another question that's often asked of me by customer service reps, and it is, does this customer really believe that acting like a child and threatening and being obnoxious is going to make me want to help them more? I mean, what's wrong with that? And, and in fact, it's not that the customer is thinking about anything like that. They're not thinking consciously. When they're upset, they go back to the earlier behavior. And that's very important to understand that most customers are not doing this stuff intentionally to get to you. They are simply reverting back, just as you or I do in tough situations, and, and acting badly. So, I hope that explains a little bit about the very weird conundrum of adults, adults really acting like children. It does happen, but it's really normal. It's part of the way we develop as human beings, that we have this capability, and that the more emotional we get, the less able we are to think and put a hold on this lousy behavior. Now, unfortunately, if you're the uh, bearing the brunt of it, that doesn't make it any better. But here again, I, I focus an emotional customer, even one who, one who appears angry, is most likely a customer who is in need, feels helpless, feels frustrated, that kind of thing. And that gives us some keys about what we can do to diffuse their anger and try and get them to act more in a more adult way. Okay, that's it for now. See you next time.